What's going on guys, it's more gaming here and welcome back to another video. Um, before we get into it, I just want to point out that this is a 50 subscriber special video. Um, I decided to post another Elite Dangerous video because um, the last Elite Dangerous video, the Deep Core Mining Guide, um, has pushed this channel up to 50 subscribers and um, thanks to that I um, have started to really focus on my YouTube channel a little more. Um, I know 50 subscribers isn't a lot, but it does mean my little, um, gaming channel is starting to grow, so, um, if you have a spare two seconds, just quickly go down the bottom of this video, click the subscribe button, it would really mean a lot, and, um, it would really help this channel grow up to maybe a thousand subscribers, and I can start earning a little bit of profit off YouTube. Okay, so, without further ado, let's get into it. So, today, I'm going to be covering... Um, the quickest way to get out of the Sidewinder and into the Anaconda, or any ship up to like 50 million or above. Um, now, this is actually a really quick way to get up, you could probably do it in a couple of hours. But I'll just be showing you the basics, and um, yeah, let's get into it. So everybody, um, you're here in your Sidewinder, of course, um, if you go to Starport Services, um, what most of you have probably been doing already is um, these mission board missions. And this is very good, um, a great way to start, and um, what I would recommend a lot is finding these missions, right here. These career job missions are um, just really, really good. Um, as you can see, they can pay up to, like, well, a lot of money at a time. Um, but yeah, just keep doing these because it don't, doesn't require any upgrades to your ship. And it can, you can get them done reasonably quickly. Um, so just stock up on heap, a heap of them that are going to the same sort of place. And, um, I'll see you guys once I've done a couple of those and we can move on to the next part of this video. Okay guys, before we move on, I just want to um, say to any beginners here, um, this is your um, navigation sort of panel. If you come over here to um, transactions, just click on one of the missions you have selected. Click open galaxy map. It'll take you to the system you need to go to. You just um, select the route. Okay, it failed. Okay, so... This here basically means the Sidewinder cannot jump this distance, right? So I would need to get in a bigger ship. But um, if you have started in a Sidewinder, it shouldn't give you missions like this, and you should be easily be able to jump um, to your station. So I'll get to you guys once I am at that station that I need to jump to, and um, yeah, I'll meet you there for the next stage. Okay guys, we are not at the station yet, but I just found another point that I should point out. Um, when you're in your system, um, you can scroll across to your transactions again, um, find the terminal that you're going to, which is Williams Terminal for me, um, then go over to navigation, go to your system map, and find it, which is somewhere down here, there we go, there's actually three different terminals terminals that I need to go to, um, so I'll select them, but um, the easier way to do it is to come to navigation, scroll down, and anything highlighted in blue is um, something that you will need to go to for your mission, so um, yeah, let's just um, go down over there, this is actually quite a distance away from me, but I'll see you guys once I am over there. Okay, what's up guys, we're here, um, I'm using the Sidewinders auto dock that comes with it, um, it's also got an auto takeoff. If I were you, if you're a beginner and don't, um, already know how to take off and land by yourself, I would take it off your ship and just practice, um, because it's a very useful thing to know and, um, it'll help you a lot and it's, it's also very enjoyable to do, but, um, I find it, well, I would happily do it manually there, but it, 
I couldn't be bothered turning it off, so I just Solid contact, it. power down your engines. So Welcome we're now at the terminal commander. and um if I come over to mission boards here. Um here we go. So there's only one of these career jobs that is actually available to complete. And the reason being there is because um uh when I didn't prop thoroughly check the missions I selected. So they all went to different stations within this system. Um this is fine. Um I would definitely try to get missions that are in the same system. But um it's also very good if you can get as many missions as possible that go to the same station inside that system. It just makes your life a lot easier. Um now all of you guys, you need to um, choose the credits amount. I'm going to choose reputation because I don't need credits at the moment. Um, I need reputation more. This is the board where you can choose whichever one you want. Influence, reputation, um, or credits. Um, but you guys will all need to choose this reward here. Um, and I'm going to choose reputation here because this is what I need more. But all of you guys choose the credit amount. Okay guys, um, now that's complete, I'll go over and complete the other ones that I need to do. But, um, yeah, if you've already completed all of yours, just come through here and look for any more you can do. Um, and in the end, you want to have about 500,000 credits balance, and so that will be enough to do with what our third and final step is. Okay everybody, uh, we have landed at the um, new station here, um, this is the um, last one where I completed my final mission. Um, before we move on to the next step, I would like to point out, if you aren't earning enough off these um, uh, these career job missions, um, say you're only earning like 200,000, sorry 20,000 at a time, um, you can fit your um, Sidewinder out with cargo bays, which is pretty simple to do. And then you can do things like this, which is deliver a bunch of units of these things. Which do pay a lot, but you do need quite a bit of storage space. The only reason I didn't recommend this at the beginning is because the Sidewinder really doesn't have much you can upgrade for storage. So, um, yeah, in my opinion, career jobs is the best way to... Um, get your money but um yeah if you're tired of doing those you can start doing some of um these missions okay but moving on so assuming you guys all have about half a million credits right now um if you come over to shipyard here um you will need to be at any station that has an adder so the next ship we're gonna buy is an adder it's only 74,000. I just got you guys to get 500,000 for precautions. You could probably do this with about 300,000 or 400,000. But, um, yeah, definitely I would get 500,000. So, you're going to want to buy yourself an Adder. So, an Adder is a really amazing ship for what it is. It's 74,000. It gets us a medium hard point, which is necessary for what we um, are going to do next. Um, it's got a reasonable amount of space for um, cargo um, for a ship like this. Um, obviously if you get um, your hands on a Cobra you can do it with that you m but you will need to um, have more um, credits to um, be able to purchase that and upgrade it. So I'm just going to get in my store data already um, which is basically stock, so I'll be able to show you guys everything straight up, but you're going to want to purchase this adder. Okay guys, so, um, assuming you have bought your adder, it's a right-seated cockpit, which, to say, is a little weird, but, um, yeah, so you've got your adder, um, you want to come over to outfitting here. So, this is where we're going to move on to, um, a place where we're going to really start earning a lot of money at a time. So, um, if you come over to hard points here, we've got our medium hard point and our two small hard points. So you're going to want to sell one of these pulse lasers here, um, just to save power. 
Um, you can keep it, but I wouldn't, especially for what we're going to be doing. Now with the second one, just browse shop, come over to mining tools here, and put an abrasion blaster in. So this is really cheap at the moment. Um, now if we come onto our medium slot, um, this is where it starts getting a little more expensive. Come over to mining tools again. Um, and come to a seismic charge launcher. You're going to want to purchase one of those. Okay, there we go. Um, now you can put a weapon in this just for self defense. I'm not going to to save again money on the powered um, generator. But um, next, if we come over to optional internals here. Um, be going to want to literally just fill the whole ship up with cargo racks. Um, not everything, obviously, but we can get rid of this three shield generator and um, replace that with a cargo rack. And then two slot. I'm gonna add another cargo rack. And final. Um, slot will add another cargo rack so um that's all the cargo racks then in one of these so i'm going to replace my advanced docking computer because i do not need that um if you do want your docking computer you can keep it and replace something else but i'm going to put this one c shield generator in it um there's a super cruise assist, I don't quite know what that's for. You can fill it out with cargo racks again. If you want, I might put a fuel scoop on here. It's not going to do very much actually, so I'm actually just going to add another fuel tank. And I'll replace the super cruise assist with another fuel tank again. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, that's your optional internals, um, all kitted out for everything you want. So if we come out here, um, you'll be able to see that we now have a inventory space of 24. Um, it's not much, again, um, but it's enough to start with, and, um, yeah, so let's move on. Okay, so we are back in outfitting here. Um, if you come over to utilities here, so just under hard points to utilities, um, browse the shop. Um, this place doesn't actually have them, which is um, unfortunate. But um, what you're going to want is something called a pulse wave analyzer. Um, this is very important. Um, yeah, unfortunately, this place doesn't have them. But it's a pulse wave analyzer, it goes in your utility slots. And um, I'll find a place that has them and I'll put it in at the end of the video. But yeah, so put a pulse wave analyzer in your utility mount and that's all you'll need for um, utilities. Then if we come back over to optional internals, I just realized that um, we're not quite where we need to be. So um, if I replace this fuel tank again um, with... I think, yep, surface scan. So this is quite expensive. Um, a detailed surface scanner, a hunt, two hundred twelve thousand. Um, I'm going to exchange that there. Um, now that I look at it, you might need up to six hundred thousand. Just see how you go by the end of this. I think we've got the main expensive stuff out of the way though. Um, and then if we come over here. Okay guys, I'm back, um, sorry for the, the awkward um, change, um, I've just decided to come over to um, the system of Pinkham, I think, Peekham, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, to Rustworth Station, um, just because uh, that station didn't quite have what I needed, um, but it's not too hard to find a station with all these things. Um, but I just know this station has them from, um, previous mining. Um, but yes, if we come back over to optional internals, 
um, come to the fuel tank over here. Um, we want to get prospecting limpids and collection limpids. So I'm going to start with this collection limpid here. I'm going to try to get the best collection limpid possible. Um, sorry, prospect limpid possible. It's only 4,000, really cheap. Um, that's also very necessary. Um, then the final thing that we will need to do is come over and grab collection limpets. Now, um, these things change, but, um, yeah, you can get, um, one class and three class. In the adder, though, um, I'm just gonna go with single class for both of these limpets. Um, these are the controllers, not the limpets. Don't get that mixed up. Um, but, yeah, these will basically send little, um, if you would, drones, um, out to, um, scan asteroids. That's what the prospect limpets do. The collector limpets do what their name says. Um, they go out and collect, um, whatever, um, you want them coll to collect in space. And, um, okay guys, I just want to add this in quickly, um, because I completely forgot to add it in in the original recording. If you, um, come over to Utility Mounts here, um, yep, here we go, here's the Pulphways Analyzer, um, you just want to buy one of these, these are, do also become quite expensive, B classes are quite expensive as well, um, but I would recommend getting either C or D class, um, C class will take you over limit on your, um, power supply, so I'm just going to get D class for now. Um, but if you do want to get C-Class, just, um, after you purchase it, come over to Core Internals, um, come over to your power plant, and maybe just upgrade this to, like, a 3C, and that will give you plenty power, and it's not that expensive. Um, there's one last thing that I need to do, which is, if you come over to Advanced Maintenance, just on the shipyard, um, come over to Restock, right here this is what you'll need to fill out so because the adder only has a cargo space of 20 you're going to want to fill um this up with limpets because um this is the limpets that you will be launching because the things you installed before were the limpet controllers these are the limpets themselves but just purchase a bunch of these limpets and um yeah so that's it yeah so that's um basically your ship complete now um, if you want, if you have some spare credits left over, I would highly recommend, um, upgrading your frameshift drive and power distributor and even power plant, maybe. Um, but, yeah, so that's basically this video done. Um, I haven't showed you how to make money yet, but I'll leave the, um, there'll be a link somewhere in, either in the description or at the end of this video saying, um, taking you to my early dangerous um, deep core mining guide which is what you shall be doing next um this adder has a storage space now of um let's see it has an inventory space of 20 so um if you sell at the right spot you could be earning about 30 million per trip um which is a really good amount and after one trip, you could move on to something like an Asp Explorer, which has much more cargo space. And you can then earn like 80 million at a time off that. And there you go, you're at above 100 million already. But, um, yeah, so that's this video done. I'd like to add, um, only about 2% of you guys are subscribed. Um, thank you guys so much for getting me to 50 subscribers. Um, it, it is a bit of a milestone for me but still only two percent of you guys are subscribed which means there i have about two thousand viewers and only 50 of them are subscribed um but yeah if you guys could just take about five seconds out of your day just to go down below this video click subscribe and hit the notification bell because um in upcoming videos i will be announcing um a giveaway um uh, and I'll be announcing the time and um, when it's going to happen. So uh, you don't want to miss out on that. So go hit the notification bell so you um, know when that video uploads. 
um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video um hope you enjoyed make sure to leave a like if you did um share this to anyone who you think might um find this useful and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye